Hi, it's Vanessa Lee. Welcome to Always the Wild Ones. Today I'm going to show you all the philodendrons that I have in my collection so far. Um, I actually only thought I had, you know, about eight, but it turns out I think I have about 12. And I want to do them in order that I bought them. So we're going to start in 2021. The first philodendron that I bought was my lemon lime, um, which is over here. Let me just grab her. So here she is. Um, yeah, I bought this one. When was it? In November. Yeah, in November 21. And she is looking quite magnificent. I have propagated um, quite a few times from this plant. And this one is currently in the Choose a Pond. And at the bottom there, I've done um, some lacquer balls to create a reservoir of water. So you can see at the moment, there's some water in the bottom there. And this one has been in the Choose a Pond for I would say about two months now and she really loves it and it's great because I can just literally look at the reservoir and find out whether or not she needs more so um, water, soil, whether she needs um, more water or not and she's got some really interesting, a new leaf there finally with a bit of variegation um, and there are one or two hidden in there which are also really pretty like this one, which is really cute. Um, what else? Is there another one? I think there's one more somewhere. Um, but I'm really hoping she'll get more, more of those because they're really pretty. I mean, it's like the reverse of the Brazilian philodendron Brazil. The Brazilian. <laughs> so yeah, that's her. And I actually brought along, oh, let me just put her down there. I just brought along a cutting just to show, this was kind of the size that I started with, maybe a little bit smaller actually than this one. But yeah, this one is actually um, living in the hallway at the moment. And she's doing really well. The hallway is quite cold. Um, I did put my temperature thing out there, my thermometer yesterday. And yesterday, oh my gosh, it was as low as 17. So it's really cold out there, but she still seems to do, be doing really well. And I can see like new shoots inside there. So um, a really hardy plant. Um, yeah, I really love this plant. Always gonna have a philodendron lemon lime in my collection. So cute. If you don't have one and you love this color leaf, then You'll not be disappointed. Really easy to take care of. So, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, this one that is still in soil. She's actually just in a basic cocoa core and perlite mix because when I first, um, I do my propagations in water, or at least this one was in water. And then when I first change them from water to soil, I like to kind of do a heavy soil and mix, soil and perlite mix um, and I've just been I guess a bit lazy or I just kind of forgot that this one was still in that soil but she'll need some soil with some better nutrition so we'll do that one another day <laughs> um, okay the next I would say on the same day I also bought this philodendron mycon I know, it's looking very, very sad. This one lives in the hallway as well and is in soil. Um, uh, she was much bigger than this. Um, I'll try and find a photograph. I'm actually finding it difficult to find a photograph. She's not loving the hallway. You can see some of those leaves are looking almost translucent, which is just a sign of cold damage. Um, I really love this plant, but I put her through some serious trials. So, 
she was looking gorgeous she was trailing she was actually hanging very long and oh I should have just left her alone and then I decided to chop her and propagate her and I found the propagations so difficult um, all of the others rooted so quickly but the micans I just struggled with it I've tried um, obviously I, I started with water because all of the other philodendrons do really well in water um, that did that took forever um, and then I tried perlite that was a little bit better but still quite a long process and um, oh and then I decided to put the so I cut the plant first and then I decided to put the remaining of the plant onto a plank because that was like I don't know a lot of people were doing it and I wanted to see if it worked and I would love to have seen the leaves size up but she hated it absolutely hated it she looked so pretty on the plank I will put an image here she was looking so cute on the plank and oh if only it had worked but it was just all too much for her so yeah that's what I'm dealing with at the moment and I'm hoping in the summer she'll look kind of better just better um, and the cuttings mwah, really bad like just I mean you can see new new leaves but there's more dead leaves there than there are living at this moment I'll pick those out later okay so that was my first two plants um, in 2021 and then the next one was my white princess which I bought also in November wow okay so the white princess at the time was actually quite expensive um, I think it was like 120 pounds to buy this plant but I bought this one because it was in the reduced section and I think I paid something like 33 pounds which is still a lot because I'm you can get these cheaper these days um, this is the remainings of the plant um, and it's not actually even the mother plant these are like two little pups I'll put an image so that you can see what she looked like when I first bought this plant ah oh, flies I really I need to sort that out um, yeah so the main plant basically the main plant actually grew really tall and had beautiful big leaves but they were all green um, and so I gave that plant to a friend I just kind of ran out of space for plants that climb upwards um, yeah so these are the two pups this plant lives in the hallway I did I also put this one through absolute hell I put it in the choose upon this plant rejected it oh absolutely hated it um, <laughs> almost died um, so I put it back into soil and yeah it seems to be happier um, it is living in the hallway which is like I said very cold but she just has to toughen up because you know yeah she does look a lot better than she was but yeah she's not doing great so that's that one next is my pink princess oh my gosh she's behind me on the table here let me just grab her for you so this is the pink princess there's actually two in there i got this um, as a present actually in december like for christmas so the end of december of 21 she um, is looking really lovely these days. She's got some really beautiful leaves. Um, her latest one, also really pretty. And she's kind of been spitting out these pure pink ones. And I think the next one coming is also going to be pure pink. I don't know if you can see right there. So, yeah. She's happy, she's happy. I finally found the right lighting for this plant. It took a while. Um, I do have two others that, um, one's in, 
no they're both in the choose upon i have two others that are in the choose upon they were both struggling as well but i just decided i wanted to be determined with those two they're both in a propagation box blah, blah, blah. they're both in a propagation box right now and i will grab those out so that you can see what they're looking like they i mean they're small and um, they've always been smaller than this one so it's not that the soil is working better or I don't know at this stage I'm gonna grab them I'm gonna show you um, this one is actually in a soil mix that I mixed myself I don't know if you can see in there um, I used a combination of um, this kind of forest fern mix that can be used in with like lizards in the kind of aquarium thingy. Um, I mixed cocoa core, perlite, um, I've got some orchid bark in there and I think I put some charcoal. Yeah, I've got some charcoal in there as well. So yeah, that's kind of the mix that I gave her and she she's quite happy in it still. Oh, okay, so let's put you back, back in your spot, okay, she's back. So, okay, let me get the two pink princesses. Oh my goodness, just putting my lemon lime back, she's so gorgeous. Oh. No, good she's so cute. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, the propagation box. Actually, maybe... No, 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 I'm going to do it this way. Um, I'm going to show you them both. Two little pink princesses. So, like I said, they're both in La Chusa Pon. And this one, the leaves are looking so cute. She's got a new one coming. Just, she's got a new one coming. And check out the aerial roots as well. Really quite impressive. So, Finally, this one is happy. Oh my gosh, the roots at the bottom of this pot. I don't know if you can see that. But she's literally growing out of the pot, so it's good that I had a proper look at this one. Um, and this is the other one. Yeah, she's doing well. Um, her latest leaf was completely, well, it looks red, but that will just be green eventually um, but she does have some pretty pink ones as well they're quite dinky but I'm hoping this summer she'll size up she can't live in that box forever but once the summer comes she'll be out of the box and I might actually combine the two because I think that'd be quite pretty and bushy so that's those two little princesses um, so next is my silver sword um, which was a cutting and hang on hang on hang on so yeah I got that at the beginning of 22 I'm just gonna put these back in there oh. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, so at the beginning of 2022, I got a cutting of this silver sword and I grew her into quite a nice sized plant. This plant then got spider mite and it also, yeah, it was like there was this crazy heat wave. So she also kind of got these weird translucent areas. Like, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but it 
they were like kind of it was just heat damage basically it had a lot of heat damage so I had to chop the plant up and I've propagated it and it's currently in the choose a pond and absolutely loving life let me get in a little bit closer I hope you can see these roots they are quite fabulous and yeah she's doing really really well with a new leaf coming so good things and I've actually got quite a few other cuttings um, I've got one in a box outside in the hallway it's just a bit smaller than this one and then I've got two much smaller ones which I'm going to show you so I've got this one she's so cute yeah I have this one and this one is actually just in sphagnum moss um, oh she's just so cute I love these little baby ones she's pushing out another new leaf and oh I love the little babies but yeah I'll probably put all of them together in one pot and just make it like a really nice big pot or maybe I'll save them for a swap during the summer okay I actually need to move some of these plants I'll be right back so this is the last little cutting of my silver sword and she's adorable I really love her she's so cute so let's pop her back in there quite moist in there okay so the next one on my list let's see let's see um, ah the next one on my list was on the 23rd of February 22 I got some cuttings and I got the Brazil philodendron Brazil and I also got some philodendron heart leafed um, cuttings and I'm going to show you those guys that oh my gosh you are going to be shocked so I'm going to put a photo actually first of the cuttings um, in the little propagation situation and then I'm going to show you what I have today and you're going to be just I mean what is going on this plant is nuts so this is the Brazil <laughs> Can you believe and I had loads more cuttings of this um, I've done cut I've taken cuttings from this plant and I've given them to friends and I've done yeah like some swaps so I'm so proud of this plant I can't believe how much it has grown in the space of a year because I mean but if I got these cuttings, yeah, it's like almost to the day, it's a year old this much. And I mean, I haven't done anything special with this plant. This one has been living in the hallway. Oh, that was loud. It's been living in the hallway, which is not ideal. It's cold out there. It doesn't actually have any damage on it. So again, quite a hardy plant. Um, it would definitely have done, it would have grown much more had it have been in this room, but... I don't know um, why she's in the hallway actually um, what's the soil the soil oh my gosh the soil is not good it's so basic it's like my very very beginner kind of soil um, I mean from a year ago I was like you know I was still learning about soil and whatever so I can see that it's got coca core perlite and it's probably got a bit of bark in there but not much else so I'm actually going to repot this one as well I should start doing a bit of a list whilst we go through these um, so yeah that's the philodendron Brazil and then I'm going to show you the Hartley one oh, check this out she is 
and I did loads of cuttings. This one was also living in the hallway. This one definitely did show signs of cold damage. Um, let me see if I can find you a leaf. It has been here back in the living room for, I would say about a month now. But yeah, you can kind of see on the leaves, these ones, you can definitely see the cold damage. I mean, look how translucent they are. You can see my thumb right through it. Um, but hopefully she will do better. Again, in a very basic soil mix that I was doing way back then. Clearly haven't repotted this. Another plant that needs repotting. Oh, there's a yellow leaf. <laughs> yeah, she needs, I mean, she deserves better, right? And I do have some lovely soil. I was actually thinking of putting this one into Lechisa Pond and I do have a vessel for it. So I was planning on putting it in this vessel. Uh, so yeah, I've got quite a bit of repotting to do. So that's another one. How many have I got to repot? Gosh, a lot. But yeah, so that's this one. Um, again, a great beginner plant. I think all philodendrons are actually quite easy. Well, until we get to the next batch. But the ones that I've shown you so far, actually no. The trailing plants are really easy. Um, the white and the pink princess, um, easy for some, difficult for others. You know, sometimes they just don't love you back. <laughs> That's what I find with my white princess. I just feel like it just kind of, it's like, uh, you're all right, I'll stick around a bit, you know, it's kind of not loving, loving my environment or my kind of parenting skills. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this one back. Let's move on to the next one. So we're now in 2022 and the next plant that I bought was my Melona Chrysum. I don't know why my Cebu Blue Cuttings is on this list. That's not a philodendron, so it's never premium. Um, and anyway, let's move on. So the next one I bought in July now that's not to say that I wasn't buying plants because I most certainly was, <laughs> but um, this was my next philodendron that I bought and that was in July of 22 and it was the Melona Chrysum and she is here, I'm going to pull it out, oh, massive acorn, um, yeah so she currently lives here in the living room. She actually came with these three leaves and this is just a bag of sphagnum moss because I am, um, I think there are some roots in there but yeah, I'm, I was gonna propagate it. Let me get in a little bit closer because this one's actually really cool. Take it out from there, we don't need that. So yeah, I bought this one in July. Look how massive her leaves are um, and I also bought this um, it was on sale um, because as you can see it's got some damage and it was it was just recovering from thrips. The, the store was very honest. Well, I always ask anyway. Um, like if you see a plant in the sale bit, it's always worth asking, have you treated this plant for pests and which pest did you treat it for? Because often than not, if you buy a plant that's, you know, it's suffered with thrips, for instance, you'll probably have thrips at some stage. Oh my God, what is this? Oh no, what is this? Oh, I don't think it is thrips. I think it's just bits of sphagnum moss. Hopefully. She feels like she actually needs a bit of a water, so I'll probably do that after after our chat. Um, so yeah, you can see this is the oldest leaf, and it's been 
it was like that pretty much from when I bought it to be honest and it's just taking quite a long time to die off um, this one is in a slightly better mix of mine um, which is cocoa core perlite um, that forest um, fern mix or whatever it's called I'll put the correct name up um, some orchid bark I don't think there's any charcoal in here you can see quite a lot of sphagnum moss on the top this plant seems to really like that um, so yeah I propagated this one recently and I'll show you the rest of her she has grown really well in my environment um, I have friends with this plant that have struggled with um, leaves getting caught when they're unfurling in the caterpill. Um, mine's just, it hasn't had that, so touch wood, that won't happen. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, so we propagated this one. I actually cut this plant crazy. I decided to propagate this plant like about a week or two before going on holiday so that was a mad move but it works out in the end because I'm going to show you the other part but even with the mother plant she is showing signs of growth so can you see there's a shoot right there but also there's a shoot on the top so I might actually get two stems coming out from this plant and that oh so excited oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm you know I I was told that this was a difficult plant I was expecting it to be difficult so I'm just amazed at how well it's doing um, now other reasons why I feel that it grew so well was because I did put it on a moss pole I made my own moss pole um, do I have any videos with that? I'm not sure if I do. But if you go onto my Instagram account, um, I do have the moss pole that I made, like a kind of step-by-step -step process on there. So you can check that out. Same name, always the wild ones. Um, God, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I that's yeah. I feel that the moss pole really helps. I kept it really moist, pretty much all the time. I tried my very best anyway, and I feel that the moisture that was in that moss pole kind of created the humidity that this plant needed. Um, so I will probably put this one back on moss pole. I have one already made. Do I? I've got two. Well, I don't know if it's going to be too big for this plant, but we'll see. And um, I'll do that. So that's yet another thing. All my philodendrons actually seem to need something so far. Oh, you know, never boring here. I'm always doing, I'm always doing something with these plants. So let me show you the propagation. Um, here she is tell already her moss pole is dry so yeah this is the the cutting and I've actually got two other cuttings in a propagation box uh, they're right next to me I'll show you those they're not really doing very much to be honest but anyway, yeah, so this is the main part. And as you can see, there is a leaf coming. Now, when I cut this plant, there was a leaf coming and I lost that one. It died. Um, it looked like it was growing um, and it looked like, I mean, it literally, it came out of its caterpill and then the tip of it just started going brown and it, it just rotted. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look at the root system. Oh, that was loud. Oh, she's as light as a feather. Oh, and the roots are doing well. Oh, I'm so relieved. Whoa. Oh, I'm so relieved. Look at that. Because that, that was a, a major concern. Really need to miss this pole. Um, yeah, so now that the roots are much more substantial, hopefully the leaves will 
do better. We really need to water that guy. Ooh. So yeah. I'm alone, I cry so. Oh. Yeah, I'm quite proud of this one. I hope she continues to do well. Spring is in the air. Well, it's kind of back and forth to be honest. Um, but spring will soon be here and she, hopefully she will love that. I did find actually that this plant grew much more in the autumn than it did throughout the summer. It didn't do a hell of a lot in the summer to be honest. But in the autumn it sized up. It, I started getting bigger leaves. Um, of course they're not as big as the mother plant. Um, and I think that could be down to environmental change. So yeah, hopefully this one will do well in the spring. I've never had it in the spring. Did I ever have this plant in the spring? No, because I got it in the July. In July. Okay. Next plant. Let's put it back in the sunshine in the sunny spot. The next plant on my list is the Pastazanum. So I've got this one right next to me. I'm actually going to put a photograph of my Pastazanum right there, which is on my Instagram. Um, and you can see she's quite bushy. So this is what I have. Um, I actually have all of the plant, it's just the in that pot, that original photo that I just showed you, this plant was, it had actually three plants in the pot. So I separated them. Um, this is like that original leaf that you'll see in the photo. And yeah, this is also an original leaf. But this one was the first one that grew in my care. Absolutely gorgeous. And... This one is my most recent. This one actually popped out whilst I was on holiday. And she's got like this really interesting, she's the only leaf that has this kind of, uh, what do they call that, ruffling on the stem. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, she's got this ruffling. She's also got a new leaf coming, so good news. And she's just recently been repotted into this long glass vessel. She was just in a clear pot before. And you can see her repot in the video before this one. And I'm hoping I have placed her in the right direction because she's the creeping plant. Um, so she will creep along the floor. Or, yeah, along the surface. Um, so it's it's kind of important to make sure that she is in the pot in the right kind of area so that she can do that comfortably and I don't know it's kind of looking it kind of looks like I got it right we shall see time will tell um, where are the other pastas anums oh one more thing I want to show you about show you and tell you actually let's show and tell <laughs> so this plant this leaf came it grew and it was out and it was proud and it was just so happy and bouncy i went to bed woke up and it was just attacked in the night by thrips and i don't know if you can see that hopefully if i get in really close but she's got all these little dots on her and you can't really do that all the time but when the light shines on her you can definitely see them so it hasn't happened to the new leaf so I'm guessing we don't have thrips at the moment so that's good um, okay moving on I'm going to show you the babies as well so actually I don't know where the other one is where is it so I've got one here She's the smallest out of them. Not looking the happiest. I mean, that kind of looks a bit droopy, but she apparently is happy because there's a new leaf coming. But um, there she is. Where's the other one? Where is that other one? 
Where did I put her? I've lost a plant. How is this possible? Weird. Um. Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, I've just remembered where she is. Oh, that was really freaking me out for a minute. I was like... What, did she just get up and walk away? I mean, where is this plant? Let me just get... Oh, she's behind me and she's hiding in here. Oh my gosh. Well, it's just as well I'm looking at her now because she's not looking particularly happy. Okay, so this was the latest leaf. You can see the older ones. This was definitely the first leaf and it's dying off. And again, this one is also dying off. I'll probably pull that off. And this is the leaf before, and you can see she's got a bit of damage there, which I think, I just hope that's just from moving it around. I mean, all the leaves are looking fairly damaged, to be fair. But we do have a new one coming, so all is good. And the roots are looking fantastic. They've got that kind of a ready tone. You can also see that she's quite dry. So another plant that needs watering. I think I'll just put her there. Put her there in the queue. Right, who's next? So next was... Ah, next was my Gloriosum, but the small one. So I've got two Gloriosum. So this is funny actually, because I bought this plant, when I saw this plant, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I finally found this plant and she was tiny and I paid 14 99 for this plant. Um, she's already creeping. I don't know if you can see, but she's in there. She's already creeping. We've got new leaves coming. This one's gonna die off pretty soon. This wasn't growing in my care. But all of these were, so all of the ones that she kind of came with pretty much have fallen off. Um, and then there's a separate little baby plant in there as well, I don't know if you can see. And the roots are looking nuts, absolutely crazy roots. And like there's this big fuzzy one on the top as well. I don't know if you can see in there but yeah this one's really loving life at the moment now that she's getting bigger the bigger she gets the stronger she is the happier she's getting so I'm very happy with this plant so yeah that's that plant and that's what I paid for it so remember that um, let's see the next plant that I got I've everything written in my book the next plant oh hang on hang on hang on Why did I continue my nest? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I've included all of my other plants in this list. It's just very long. It's a very long list. Okay, so on the 12th of November, 2022, I bought my Philodendron Pastazanum, which I showed you. But I also bought my Florida Ghost. So let me show you the floor. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I, at the same time as buying the Pastazanum, I also bought my Florida Ghost. She was tiny. She's much bigger now, but I mean, still really little she lives in this propagation box under um, a grow light and is loving life and pushing out these beautiful white leaves I did lose two leaves um, she wasn't in the box when I lost those two leaves so hopefully hopefully she'll hold on she'll keep them but I'm really proud and I can see another leaf on its way so this one's going to continue living in the box until it gets to a bigger size and then I want to take her out from there. I'm hoping by summer 
she'll be big enough to come out. Oh, yay, love this little plant. Um, there's really not much I can tell you about this plant besides the fact that she is still with us even though I started with a very, very tiny plant. Happy with that little beauty. Okay, so next on my list. This is so weird, like part of my list isn't missing. Where is it? Where is it? Mm. Well, we really don't have much more. So I'm just gonna assume that the next plant that I got, well, I know that the next plant I got was this one and this is the last one. And this is my Gloriosum, Philodendron Gloriosum. She has a new leaf on her way. Oh! Can you see? Oh my gosh, her last leaf was stunning. The one before that was this one, also gorgeous. This one grew here in my home and this one and now this one so yeah i got this one gosh i'm gonna have to put the date on after because i i think it was like a month later and i bought this one for 11 pound 49 pence because it was there was kind of like this store which is called n1 was um it just had like a, a random kind of sale. I think it was for Good Friday. Hmm. It was for Good Friday. Um, so it was reduced from fourteen ninety nine um, to £11.49 or something. So bargain. So chuffed with this. It's sized up quite substantially. What is that? Oh my God, there was a fly on there. I had to spray this one or something. I'm going to have to really, I don't know, what's going on? What's going on with you? Do I need to spray you? Do I? Mm. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's quite close to the edge of this pot. So I'm going to have to try and find another vessel, a longer vessel. I'm hoping it will be as slender as this one. I don't want it to get too chunky on the table. But um, yeah, I'm really loving this plant. It has had thrips and you can see the thrip damage on the leaves. If I get in nice and close, hopefully you can see that. Um, and I have been spraying it and just keeping a close eye on it. But only time will tell. I mean, we're in the winter. This is nothing. Summer. Oh, fingers crossed for summer. I'm going to have to just, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to get, I'm thinking of getting um, this machine that, I think it's called, I'll put the name of it up actually, but it catches um, mozzie gnats. It has like this kind of infrared light, like a kind of blue light. And let me just put this back. Yeah, it has this blue light and a sticky mat inside it and it just attracts the mozzie gnats. But I'm guessing if it attracts the mozzie gnat, it might attract all kind of flying things. So I might invest in one of those. I mean, they're not cheap, but I mean, they're not overly um, expensive, but you know, for a gadget that may or may not work, it's, it's going to be a gamble let's put it that way so yeah that is all of my philodendron so far i do have a bit of a list of um philodendrons that i still want to get and um i guess it's probably one of my favorite aeroids i find them very easy um i love the way that they look and I love their growth pattern, um, they grow very fast, which is also great for someone that's quite impatient like myself. 
and um, they're just really beautiful and there's just so many I mean I don't know how many different uh, philodendrons there are but there's just an, an abundance to choose from um, so yeah maybe I will do a list a plant list um, one of these days with all the plants that I want um, and you'll find out what I want and what I probably will look for this year 2023 and um, well actually I will let you know on at least two of the plants that I want that I have my eye open out blah, that I have my eye on and that I'm looking out for so the two plants that I'm looking for um, is the glorious the philodendron glorious which basically is very similar to the gloriosum but this plant grows upward instead of crawling um, I also love the look of the splendid she is really cute um, I love the El Choco I really want the El Choco so I'm kind of like the gloriosum and the splendid are very similar so I'd be happy to have one or the other and then the El Choco I want that one it. and then there's a bunch of others that I really want but it's unlikely that I'll get them this year because they're quite expensive and I kind of want to do a little bit of traveling also this year so I don't know we'll see we'll see who knows what might happen I might just see one randomly somewhere and at a reasonable price or I'll find a cutting um, but anyway I'm going to stop rambling on and let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out and um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, sending you all my love and I hope you all have a fabulous day. See you next time. Bye.